because in this video lecture i'm going to discuss about how to connect oracle database with ssis sql server integration service so here with using the visual studio and inside this is the project tw underscore dev and here you can see connection manager so this connection manager so let's right click here click on this new connection so new connection and if you scroll down here you can see odbc data source is there so first going to move on this search box right there odbc so odbc data source so going to create one new so there if you scroll down here you can see so you should use dev art odbc driver for oracle this you need to use let's click on this ok or uh, uh, finish here you can see our data source name so going to connect with the escort so here giving the name escort underscore con and then after here you can see it host name by default this taken or this so or uh, one okay so if i go on this uh, search box right there sql plus sql plus now here you can see in my system oracle 11 is the g installed there so if uh, other version is there so automatically this detect your other different person so let's uh, connect with the escort and here typo so now you can see oracle database 11g that installed there so that this automatically this taken and this is home one after that the next is let's give here server name server name that is so if you click on this drop down here you can see orcl that's come there okay so going to connect with the escort and give the password and after giving this all correct info let's click on this test button the connection successful click on this okay okay now you can see uh, this here escort con that's come there this come from the dev or odbc driver let's click on this okay after that here odbc this selected is there let's click on this add and here new and uh, here here you can see escort con that's come there let's give the escort user and the password and after that let's click on this test button succeeded okay okay and here escort con escort that's come there let's click on there so this escort con that's come there after that what i'm trying to do so going to take their source edu.net double click there so let's click on this new here you can see escort con escort that's come there let's click on this okay and here this you can use this tools let's select first option and click on this so here you can see different to uh, escort user tables that's come there let's select to uh, this place so okay dpt select and here you can see this is a columns that's present there or inside the dpt and now if you want to see the record inside there let's click on this preview button so this is the record and after that click on okay now thereafter going to take their target so target going to take their flat file you can use anyone let's so uh, here select this and thereafter double click there click on this new delimited that's fine here let's uh, browse the going to create the file on this desktop so here giving the name dpt department okay let's give department under dot csv csv file that's going to create click on this open automatically this place here you can see this column and here this advanced part this dpt number integer that's fine t name that's string that's fine click on this preview okay that's all fine then after okay, let's go on this mapping here automatically this direct all uh, detected this all and after that let's so uh, here after that control s to save mapping is valid let's click on this start button so when you click on this start here this succeeded there so this succeeded and uh, here you can see this is the mapping and if i go on this desktop here you can see department csv file that's created this is the data that's loaded into the flat file so this is how we can connect oracle or database with ssis so with the help of this odbc we can easily connect that okay so uh, what i'm going to repeat here you need to use the connection manager here create the connection and first you need to uh, create the odbc and for this one you should use i highly recommend you use use the dev art or do you drive for oracle and thereafter you can use the source and the destination so this is how we can choose oracle tables inside the ssis so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you